This video is sponsored by Squarespace. You can make your own beautiful website or online store with this all-in-one platform. Hi everyone, this video is going to be a sketchbook tour for this big sketchbook that I finished last month. I wanted to post it earlier, but I've been sick for a while. But I'm okay now, so this is a Stillman and Burn beta sketchbook, and it's quite big. It's good for mixed media. I use a lot of watercolor, a lot of marker, a lot of pencil in here. So let's waste no time and get into the tour. The first page here was a bunch of chickens, a cat. Um, I think this is a video on my channel where I was like starting my new sketchbook. I don't remember when I started this one. It was like the spring of last year, I think. Um, here's another page of a bunch of like random doodles. There's a lot of flowers. Um, I think this is like a lily of the valley. Animals, colors, watercolor gouache. Um, I discovered the Caran uh, wax pastels this past year and I had so much fun using those and experimenting with them. So I really wanted to use them a lot in this sketchbook and you'll probably see them a lot. This page is a little empty. I think I used a lot of the Caran pastels and this was me swatching them when I first got them. Um, a little doggy dogs. I wasn't quite like happy with how I was using them. Like I felt like I was still kind of discovering how to use them properly and just like experimenting and like finding ways to work with them. They're sort of like pencil crayons, but they're thicker and they're a little bit softer. So it's easier to cover large areas with them, but then that makes it harder to do details. And I think I eventually realized I don't like to go in on just white paper with them. I like to go in on an already like painted surface. Like if I used markers or watercolor already on the page, these are a nice like accent. You can add texture and like further develop it. Like I don't like to just do these like raw on just plain white paper because like the white poking out, I find it hard to deal with that. Some artists are great at that, but I think I like to work with like a base color and then add textures on top. That's why I like to use watercolor as like the base because it's very smooth underlay and then you can build up all the roughness and textures on top afterwards. Um, I enjoyed this page, but I remember a lot of it kind of felt like forced and um, like this felt forced. I, I like this one. I quite like all the like pencils and nothing really came of this one. Some other random doodles. Like I don't mind leaving weird unfinished stuff in my sketchbook like that. I like it to be a collage of messy and clean stuff um, because if I do only messy stuff, then I don't know. Like what, what comes naturally to me is doing like nice stuff and messy stuff all together and like not just doing one or the other because I can't keep either of those up. I have to eventually do something like like nicer looking, more polished, and then I need to be able to also do unfinished scribbly stuff to practice. Um, so I like to have a mix of the two and I usually don't only do one in my sketchbook, but I'll have phases. Like, like for a while I was trying to do like more painterly stuff. I think I was really inspired by Sophie McPike around this time and just the way she uses her sketchbooks and the blobby textured colorful approach that she has. I'd highly recommend you go check out her work. So I think around this time I was definitely very inspired by her and I like how this one turned out. Like I just remember having a lot of fun using the new pastels. I'll show you what they look like. The Caran Dash Neo Color 2. Um, honestly, I don't even need them to be the water ones. I've been only buying the water ones, but I think I could just get the regular ones too. I don't know if there's a price difference or if they feel different. I'm sure they might feel a little different, but I don't really find myself using um, like water with them because you can actually paint on top of these with water and blend them around. But these are a new find this year for me that I really like and I have a lot of colors. Um, I think I discovered what wombats wear here and I was like, oh my gosh, like I've heard of the animal wombat. Like I knew that they existed, but I didn't really know what they looked like. And I decided to do a whole page of them. They're kind of light. You can't really see them that well because I didn't go over them with um, lines. And I also got some Turner acryl gouache because I didn't want to get the Holbein acrylic gouache because that stuff is expensive and the Turner gouache is um, more affordable and pretty comparable. It's probably not as nice to work with, but it's perfectly like usable for me. And honestly, I have not done a painting with these yet. Sometimes I just buy art supplies and I'm like, I'm going to use these and then I don't. But I don't really buy a lot of art supplies these days. I have a pretty good collection and the stuff that I do buy 
is usually like restocks of colors that I need. Like I recently got a bunch of watercolor because I was running low on a lot of my favorite colors and I um, needed to get some and there were some sales. But for the Turner acryl gouache, I haven't really used those in a painting. I really want to do more traditional stuff. But I also just love doing digital stuff and I just love doing like sketchbook work. There's not a lot of sketches on this page. Um, a lot of these are familiar to me though. Um, I was trying to think of stickers and I was drawing a bunch of runner geese because I just, or runner ducks, not geese. Because I just um, this year found out like what they were called, the ones that like stand up really straight. They're so cute. I really like this little doodle, the bird with a bunch of like marker in behind. Um, I think this day I just grabbed like a gray thick brush and just opened Pinterest and drew a bunch of rats. Sometimes I just want to draw, but I don't really know what I want to draw. I just want to make marks on a page and I just want to like observe something and try to translate it to my own art. So that's what I did here. Um, I think I did this in a video, but I'm not sure. I kept seeing pictures of like girls with frogs on their heads, so I wanted to draw those. Um, if you want to see some references I used to draw, you can check out my Pinterest. It's always in the description. I pin stuff there that I've drawn in like videos and stuff so people can see what references I used. I don't use references for everything I draw and usually if I if I do use them I kind of use it as like a starting off point and I like deviate away from the reference or I'll use multiple references or I'll just do like loose sketches of them and then maybe I'll come back to the page add some color like make it my own um, but when I'm like strictly trying to study something I'll usually just draw from the reference and move on um, but that's kind of how I use them and they're on my Pinterest if you're interested. Now for a break to thank this video sponsor, which is Squarespace. I've been using Squarespace for a couple of years to host my website. And the main thing I use it for is for my portfolio. Since I'm an artist, it's really important for me to have a place to display a curated collection of my art online which is different from social media and it's really easy to do this on Squarespace with their portfolios and galleries feature. You just have to upload all your images, drag and drop them to rearrange them and then Squarespace will display them all beside each other nicely in a grid. I also make sure to have an about page where I can write a little blurb about me and what I do and the way I actually built my site was by scrolling through all of their pre-built templates and you can change so many things about the template to make it feel like your own so it doesn't really feel like you're using a template in the end. If this sounds interesting to you, go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch your website, go to squarespace.com slash gel arts and you can get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I really like this page. I drew a bunch of badgers. I drew a lot of critters this year and it was a lot of fun. The badgers were a lot of fun to do. I used a purple marker for that and a frog page, which I really enjoyed. And I just really liked coloring in the backgrounds around the frogs and just adding like textures and lines. This page isn't really anything special, just a bunch of random doodles and like I tried to draw a cool frog, but it's not really that cool. Some ghosts. Um, I think I was drawing prairie dogs and a bunch of portrait practice, which I quite like. I like doing pages like this. They're just a bunch of portraits. This page is nothing special either. I had a lot of like misses, a lot of duds, but I don't really care if some pages like aren't really special. It's just a sketchbook where you're supposed to experiment and just like fill it with art for a while. So this page was, I don't know, I was gonna draw something cool on top of this texture, but I just never really did. Um, a bunch of bugs, I had a lot of fun with this page. I like drawing all the little bugs, little ladybugs. I got really into isopods, like roly polies and stuff over last year. This is kind of a try hard page. I did a whole bunch of sketches and like did very like blocky backgrounds and I think it looks really cool. I really like this spread. I'm a big fan. I use all sorts of different media like markers, watercolor, Caran d'Ache, pencil crayon, ink, like basically everything I have I use in this page. Um, I really like this raccoon page. It turned into a sketchbook print. So did this opossum page. All the critters I drew this month, month, all the critters I drew in this sketchbook um, I had so much fun with. I feel like I drew, I feel like I drew a big variety of critters and uh, had lots of fun. And I really like this one. This is based off a reference photo, but I kind of like stylize it, try to make it my own. But like, you know, I can't really draw opossums from memory. I don't really know what they look like. So I definitely recommend looking up references to help you learn how stuff looks. 
This page is emptier than I would like. I don't know what all these notes are. I think it's something about cognitive behavior therapy. I don't know. I drew a shrimp. Um, a big colorful page that's kind of like... I, I was drawing a lot of like plushies or... I think this was some random sculpture being sold online and I thought it was so funny. So I drew it. Just a big cat eyes. I always like to draw cats when I can because they challenge me a lot. Um, I think this was a good doodling day. And I think the reason why a bunch of pages have this colorful background is because um, I had leftover paint one day. I think it might have actually been the Turner gouache that I was talking about. And I just filled a bunch of pages with the paint. Um, this one, I use a little blue gel pen I had. I really like this little doodle here on the page of a cat stretching. More pages full of colors, notes for my shop, stuff I want to plan, loose sketches. I was going to do a drawing of this. Oh, this was me planning the bug witch. Yeah, that's the thumbnail for the bug witch drawing. Um, drawing a bunch of bugs too, like detailed bugs with a thin pen so I can get in there with the details. Um, and I was trying to plan out like drawings. I went with this thumbnail. More pages are filled with color. Um, I was trying to plan out a tote bag design I wanted to do. I should do that one. These are secrets. Well, not really, but um, ideas I never really did. I like this little worm. Um, obviously I pasted something here that I wasn't happy with. I think this is a video of me drawing weevils. I also got into weevils last year because I was playing the game called Grounded and there's weevils in that game and they're really funny. I like them. Um, another page. I think this was a video. A lot of these pages are videos. If you're interested in seeing how I made these pages, it's on my channel in past videos. The thumbnail should kind of show you what's in the video. I had fun with all these watercolors, the little otters, raccoons. I did some witch bugs, some cats and uh, moths. I used a lot of um, watercolor and Caran d'Ache. Oh, people ask me a lot what black brush pen I use. I use the Tombow brush pens. They come in a two pack of a soft and hard one. This one here, it comes with a soft and hard nib. I highly recommend these. They're pretty accessible and affordable and waterproof and I love them. They're pretty stiff so they're easy to control but you still get that like brush pen line. This page was a lot of fun. Um, oh yeah, the foxes. These foxes got me a lot of views on Instagram. People really liked these foxes and I had a lot of fun drawing them. This page is kind of bare <laughs> for like how much like love people gave these these fox drawings. There's not really a lot on this page, um, but I like this little guy. They're so fun to draw, watercolor mostly. Um, this was when I kind of stopped using like the Caran d'Ache too much and I went back to my like watercolor pencil gouache technique or like workflow and I just realized it just works for a reason. I just really like it. And I think I did it for the rest of the sketchbook mostly. This was a page. I think I filmed it. Just drawing some critters. I wanted to draw some crows, some albino crows. Or are they ravens? I think these are crows. Um, little doodles on this page. There's like a little bear. Lots of shrimp. I do shrimp every once in a while and raccoons. I'm realizing there's a lot of raccoons and shrimp in this sketchbook. There's a lot of people too. I was drawing Chain Chomp from Mario. Some squirrels. Um, some bows. Just like lots of random doodles. Nothing really cohesive about this page, but sometimes I like pages like this that nothing really goes together. It's not very try hard. It's just kind of drawing random stuff. Um, I was having a lot of fun just drawing with pencil crayon. Oh, this was based on people's requests on Instagram and I did a video of it. So I drew a chameleon, a Holland lot bunny, platypus, a geranuk, a numbat, and a dodo. And they're really fun to draw. Um, I like drawing the platypus. I think I enjoy drawing the chameleon the most especially this one. I really like this one. I should probably make it into a sticker. He's really, uh, he's got quite the expression. I like him a lot. And uh, this was a video as well, just drawing people. I usually don't do like people drawing sketchbook sessions because I find animals more interesting and fun to do. But sometimes I like to brush up on my people drawing because I feel like when you draw something with a person in it, people can connect to it a bit more because like they're also a person like people can like project themselves into the illustration like, oh, that could be me if I had a bird or like, I don't know, <laughs> stuff like that. Then I drew a bunch of bears. I think I right here, I drew like every single Patreon I did for the last like two years. 
or for the last little while. So I was like, what animal have I not done? I want to like pick an animal and do a pack about that animal. And I ended up drawing bears for December, December, as some people coined, which I thought was kind of funny. And at first I, I struggled a little bit because their eyes are like smaller and closer together compared to the rest of their head. But then eventually I kind of found my way of drawing bears and it was a lot of fun. Um, if you don't draw bears, I highly recommend it. And people seem to really like bears. It was one of my highest like Patreon, like I sent out the most Patreon packages for December last year than I ever have. So thank you so much if you're one of those people. A big page of just pencil sketches, no color, nothing fancy. I saw this sewing pattern for like a beanie rice frog, like a vintage sewing pattern. And so I bought it, but the pattern doesn't actually like look like the frog, but I thought the frog was cute. So I wanted to draw it. Um, owls? I was like, I don't really draw owls. Like I, I never really draw them. So I wanted to do some owls and just draw random stuff. Like sometimes plushies come up on my Pinterest feed. So I draw the plushies. I find plushies fun to draw because they're sort of like simplified versions of animals and it's just fun to like draw the fabric and make them look like a plushie. Then I drew some otters. I don't think I filmed this at all. I just kind of drew it for myself for fun and I like that. And lots of black ink pen here and some cool fishies that I'll show you. There's some shrimp, a fish, um, more fish, some girls. Yeah, I had a lot of fun just using like thin ink gel pens. Like these aren't any pens in particular. These are just like some random ballpoint pens that I had on hand and some random like gel pens. They're not like artist pens. I use a lot of like stationary pens to, to doodle. Um, so I wouldn't like put marker over these necessarily because it does smudge. But that's what I use for these because I just find gel pen is so bold and fun. Oh, that's the end. I finished the sketchbook December 29th. Um, some whale sharks. A girl hugging a dog, um, fish, aeropyma, I think, or arowana. Wait, I don't remember. <laughs> um, otters. And that's pretty much it. There's also some stickers on the back. I don't know where I got all these stickers. This is my sticker. There are so many stickers on this sketchbook. I really don't know where they all came from. Um, I'll try to put the usernames if I can remember. But I just love decorating my sketchbook with stickers from other artists because... It's just kind of like fun and inspiring to see like other art people have made. So I really hope you enjoyed this sketchbook tour. It's been a long time coming. It took me a while to fill this one. Not a year though, but several, several months. But I enjoyed it and I would highly recommend this sketchbook, the Stillman and Byrne Beta Sketchbook for mixed media and watercolor. And it can really take anything and it's not that expensive either. So I would definitely recommend this one. This is my next sketchbook. I have already drawn in it and filmed it. Um, maybe I'll give you a little teaser. That's all I'll show you. Um, it is a ta Royal Talons art creation sketchbook. It's like the light purple one. It's different paper than, than my other one. It's like smoother and it's yellow toned and it probably isn't as, yeah, it's like thinner pages, um, but I've been wanting to give this a try for a while. So I thought I would do it because I can't pass this color up. I love purple. I really hope you enjoyed this sketchbook tour. Let me know what the last sketchbook you finished was, what kind of sketchbook it was and how it went. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.